Japan is one of the most competitive and interesting mobile service markets in the world. I'm talking today with Hideki Kurakawa from Big Lobe, a mobile virtual network operator or MVNO that is set to launch soon in the Japanese market. So Kurakawa-san, with the Big Lobe MVNO service set to launch this year in Japan, how has the pandemic affected your plans? Thank you. We have already started providing our MVNO services and uh, we've been updating our services uh, in a regular time basis. Uh, because of this pandemic, there was some delay in the service and uh, as well as the system deployment, especially uh, for the on-prem work required for the project have been affected um, significantly. However, uh, thanks to the uh, help of HPE members to introduce the uh, virtualization network system as well as the cloud deployment. The project uh, went very well and we were able to minimize the delay. Okay, excellent. Um, so how would you describe Japan's crowded MVNO business landscape and the implications for monetizing new 5G services? We are um, providing our mobile services and because of these uh, market situations, we have to provide our services uh, in a very low prices. So in order to address to those uh, needs, we try to quickly deploy our services and by slicing technology to address to the various kind of needs. Uh, for 5G network services, uh, we've introduced this uh, uh, slicing technology so that we can uh, address the um, uh, diversified needs uh, from the customers. So uh, also HP helped us shorten the turnaround time of uh, each project. Uh, also, uh, we were able to automate uh, the testing um, so that uh, we were able to reduce the cost. So um, because uh, of this uh, um, cost reduction, uh, we are able to provide our services very quickly uh, with low prices. Okay, great. Um, so how is Big Globe's Neo service different compared to other brands such as UQ? Big Globe is an internet service provider and we have about 30 years of history as this uh, service provider. We provide fixed internet service as well as the mobile internet services now and uh, we are um, aiming to uh, provide synergy of uh, providing both services. So while fixed internet service does not have any um, capacity limitation in data volumes, there are some capacity limitations for mobile about, um, internet services. So the Big Law provides a service called the zero rating service to uh, provide the, exactly the same experience as a fixed internet service um, so that they don't have any stress of uh, data capacity limitation. Okay, great. Um, have the greenfield players in Japan and their attempts to capture a younger subscriber base impacted Big Lobe strategy? Hi. Currently, other uh, service providers, including ourselves, are trying to lower the price and uh, um, be because of the um, demand, you know, from the government and demand from the market. Um, so our users are used to um, focus on MNO service rather than the MVNO service, but because of this trend, um, the uh, we are now providing more options for the customers uh, and now they are uh, they have started looking at the uh, lowered price of MV and more service as well. And how is HPE helping Big Globe with its launch? So Big Globe had to address to the lowering price service as well as the value. Uh, we had to address these uh, three things uh, very quickly in providing MVNO service. And HPE helped us with their technology uh, of virtualization as well as the cloud and realized our vision. Okay, great. And are there specific aspects of the HPE GreenLake as a service offering for MVNOs that you would like to highlight? Yes, thank you. 
HP GreenLake um, helped us addressing to the uh, quickly um, changing, rapidly changing the mobile market environment. So um, thanks to the GreenLake, uh, we were able to off-balance the CapEx. Um, so we were able to uh, um, uh, address to the uh, quick, uh, rapidly changing um, market situation. Um, and we were able to um, uh, change our services. Okay, excellent. Well, it's been fascinating to hear about how Big Lobe has entered the Japanese market. So Kurokawa-san, thank you very much for sharing your story with us today. Thank you very much.